Today we unite to celebrate the power of radio, the voices, the music, and the unforgettable moments. We have the chance to turn the pages over. We can write what we want to write. We gotta make ends meet before we get much older. Today, radio made the switch to digital, with rivals from across the dial banding together to celebrate. We're all someone's daughter, we're all someone's son. How long can we be each other? Today, radio launched a new digital era. As the crowd swell for this once-in-a-lifetime launch, your dial is going digital. It's alive! You're the voice trying to understand it Make a noise and make it clear Breakfast radio can be a cutthroat business, but this morning Melbourne's best-known voices joined forces for a digital revolution. The stars of Melbourne's airwaves relishing their chance to be part of history. Every other medium's going digital, so radio could not afford to sit in the analogue spectrum and do the same old thing for the next 20 years. The digital signal is now on the air in many cities and to mark the occasion, radio stations around the country have united this morning. The aim? To send a message to a potential audience of eight and a half million about the benefits of digital radio. The magnificent crowd this morning. Good morning to you. Thank you and fantastic crowd. So for AM listeners who've always had that problem with tram tracks, it doesn't exist anymore. One of the great things about digital radio, you can rewind. You know when you hear something on the radio and you think, oh, what was that? You can actually go back. It will be clearer, you can pause so you'll be able to rewind and go back and listen to what <laughs> Julia has said. So that would be a bit difficult for politicians. You won't be able to get away with anything anymore. No, no, that's right. New era. <laughs> <laughs> and this event is being replicated in five capital cities around the country. radio egos that, yeah. packed into Federation <laughs> Square. That place is just not big enough. It's going to erupt. <laughs> They're getting along amazingly well, Bridie. They're running around doing live crosses to each other's station and, you know, there's no blood being spilt yet, so I think it's going very well. The new kid on the broadcast block digital radio. We're in fact way ahead with the system we've chosen. Uh, the rest of the world is certainly watching us. Somebody, this could be the forerunner of, I think, for either a, a National Radio Day or a National Radio Week, where they, they really get out and meet the public, which is something that radio doesn't do a lot of. And I think there was like 3,000 people or more in Melbourne. And, and the beauty of this is every radio station is here. FM, AM. Oh, we're like one big happy family. <laughs> It was really difficult to walk around. There were just so many people, you know. It was, it was a very successful day. By nine o'clock, the shows had signed off and digital radio had emerged as a new star. On that score, all the stations were on the same wavelength. And in every city where we've launched, we have this going on. We have all radio stations broadcasting together. So if people don't get it today, they'll never get it. Digital radio is here. A new era for the voice of a nation. Make a noise and make it clear.